Judges chapter 7. Defeat of Midian. Early the next morning Jerubal that is, Gideon encamped by the spring of Herod with all his soldiers. The camp of Midian was north of him, beside the hill of Moreh in the valley. The Lord said to Gideon, You have too many soldiers with you for me to deliver Midian into their power, lest Israel vaunt itself against me and say, My own power saved me. Asterisk. So announce in the hearing of the soldiers, If anyone is afraid or fearful, let him leave. Let him depart from Mount Gilead. Twenty-two thousand of the soldiers left, but ten thousand remained. The Lord said to Gideon, There are still too many soldiers. Lead them down to the water and I will test them for you there. If I tell you that a certain man is to go with you, he must go with you. But no one is to go if I tell you he must not. When Gideon led the soldiers down to the water, the Lord said to him, Everyone who laps up the water as a dog does with its tongue you shall set aside by himself, and everyone who kneels down to drink raising his hand to his mouth you shall set aside by himself. Those who lapped up the water with their tongues numbered three hundred, but all the rest of the soldiers knelt down to drink the water. The Lord said to Gideon, By means of the three hundred who lapped up the water I will save you and deliver Midian into your power. So let all the other soldiers go home. They took up such supplies as the soldiers had with them, as well as their horns, and Gideon sent the rest of the Israelites to their tents, but kept the three hundred men. Now the camp of Midian was below him in the valley. That night the Lord said to Gideon, Go, descend on the camp, for I have delivered it into your power. If you are afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your aid para, And listen to what they are saying. After that you will have the courage to descend on the camp. So he went down with his aid para to the outposts of the armed men in the camp. The Midianites, Amalekites, and all the Kadamites were lying in the valley, thick as locusts. Their camels could not be counted, for they were as many as the sands on the seashore. When Gideon arrived, one man was telling another about a dream. I had a dream, he said, that a round loaf of barley bread was rolling into the camp of Midian. It came to a certain tent and struck it and turned it upside down, and the tent collapsed. This can only be the sword of the Israelite Gideon, son of Joash, the other replied. God has delivered Midian and all the camp into his power. When Gideon heard the account of the dream and its explanation, he bowed down. Then returning to the camp of Israel, he said, Arise, for the Lord has delivered the camp of Midian into your power. He divided the three hundred men into three companies, and provided them all with horns and with empty jars and torches inside the jars. Watch me and follow my lead, he told them. I shall go to the edge of the camp, and as I do, you must do also. When I and those with me blow horns, you too must blow horns all around the camp and cry out, for the Lord and for Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men who were with him came to the edge of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch, just after the posting of the guards. They blew the horns and broke the jars they were holding. When the three companies had blown their horns and broken their jars, they took the torches in their left hands, and in their right the horns they had been blowing, and cried out, A sword for the Lord and for Gideon. They all remained standing in place around the camp, while the whole camp began to run and shout and flee. When they blew the three hundred horns, the Lord set the sword of one against another throughout the camp, and they fled as far as Beth Shitta in the direction of Zirda, near the border of Abel Meholah at Tabeth. The Israelites were called to arms from Naphtali, from Asher, and from all Manasseh, and they pursued Midian. Gideon also sent messengers throughout the mountain region of Ephraim to say, Go down to intercept Midian, and seize the water courses against them as far as Bethbara, as well as the Jordan. So all the Ephraimites were called to arms, and they seized the water courses as far as Bethbara, and the Jordan as well. F. They captured the two princes of Midian, Oreb and Zeb, killing Oreb at the rock of Oreb and Zeb at the wine press of Zeb. Then they pursued Midian, but they had the heads of Oreb and Zeb brought to Gideon beyond the Jordan.